We have a, an apple tree here which is uh, showing signs of obvious aphid infestation over the summer. Uh, telltale signs here where these leaves, as you can see, are, are crumpled, they're deformed, and many of them have, have died back now and are, and are falling off prematurely. So what will have happened is when we have this new growth uh, from the spring into the summertime, uh, the aphids prefer the young growth because it's weaker for their proboscis to get into the leaves and they're able to suck out the, the sap and they always attack uh, the young leaves and you can see them covering uh, many of the leaves on young trees. But here the, the tree has gone on to develop new growth and this hasn't been attacked by the aphids. So possibly in this situation, natural predators were attracted by the aphids. Uh, they've come in, they've eaten them, kept the population down and then that's allowed the tree to, to put on a second burst of growth later on in the summer. So this shows the importance of attracting uh, these beneficial insects, these predators that will come in and uh, do the pest control for us so that we don't have to resort to using chemicals. So you can attract these beneficial predators such as hoverflies and lacewings by planting plants such as dill, fennel, daisies, poached eggplants or dandelions. They generally like small white and yellow flowers. You could plant these around your trees and that would help to increase the numbers of these predators. You may find ants around the aphids. Now ants themselves aren't a pest but annoyingly they encourage aphids and they actually farm aphids uh, for the sweet honeydew that they extract from the aphids. So it can be an idea to try and prevent ants from climbing up your tree by putting a grease band uh, around the, the base of the tree, low, quite low to the ground, and that can prevent the ants from protecting the aphids, which then leaves the aphids open to predation by predators. So one of the easiest things to do with aphids is actually just uh, manually removing them. So if you're not too squeamish, you could squish them off of your fingers. Some people prefer to put gloves on while they're doing that. But uh, that's a good way, very simple way of, of taking them off, keeping an eye on them and, uh, and, and just squishing them.